I want to invite to the podium now someone who's a product of that Catholic education, a young lady who's currently at J. Sarah Catholic High School, uh, and she's a product of, Saint, of, of Catholic education at St. Anne's. Please welcome Lauren Stafford. Lauren. When I was asked to speak today, even though I said I'd love to, the thought of getting up here in front of all of you, it turned my stomach. <laughs> I don't mind speaking in front of people, but this is different. This is a group of people I'm not really worthy to speak in front of. You guys are the ones who've changed my life and the lives of other kids, like the ones around me, who wouldn't have been able to go to Catholic school. It is, <laughs> sorry. How can I express my thanks to a group of people who've given me more than they could possibly imagine? It's, from my experience, I was devastated when my parents told me I'd no longer be able to go to Catholic school. They told me to pray about it and that they'd do all they could to try and let me continue my Catholic education. This was a really hard time for me because I was in eighth grade at St. Edwards and it, I really wanted to go to Chase Sarah and it meant so much for me to be able to go there. But I didn't want to express my disappointment because I knew my parents were hurt that they would no longer be able to provide me with that Catholic education. <sighs> Incredibly, a little while later, maybe a couple months, I received uh, a letter from Chase Sarah on my birthday announcing that I'd have just enough financial aid to be able to attend Chase Sarah. I was so happy I started to cry. And a couple days later, my, we received a letter from St. Edwards saying that my little siblings would be able to attend school as well. What began as something hard for my family became something that seemed impossible. But my dad's always told us to trust in the Lord that he will provide for us, and he truly does. God teaches us that we're the hands of God, and you've been the hands of Christ to me. This year, on my 18th birthday, I'll be doing something I've been doing for many years. I'll be going down to Mexico with my family in an organization I was introduced to while at St. Edwards called Build a Miracle. While there, we'll build houses for the poor, and when I'm there, I think of all of you. And this is one of my favorite experiences because when I go there, it makes me so happy because the people that we help are so gracious and so thankful for everything we give to them, every little thing we give to them. And it, I come back home knowing that I've done something that made a difference in their lives, just like you've made a difference in students like mine. Catholic education has been a complete gift to me. I've loved every single moment of it. The opportunity I had to go to J. Sarah and St. Edwards has allowed me to excel in all the areas of my life and has given me some of the best times in my life as well. From a young age, I grew up in the faith and learned not only how to be successful, but how to do that while living out my faith. <sighs> St. Edwards and J. Sarah have given me more than you could possibly imagine, and I just... I know that God has really used me as <laughs> to help him, to help those around me from all that I've learned during my time in Catholic school. I want you all to know that this time has really shaped me into the person who I am and that you are really helping to make the future leaders of our world who are going to use their faith in God that they've learned in Catholic school just to make the world a better place. Thank you for everything you've given to me and for all the other students who've been touched by your generosity. What an impressive young person, I tell you, the future is secure. If these young people that are out in our schools today are going to be the leaders of tomorrow, we're going to be in good shape. And that's why we've got to continue to support this system that forms these young people along with their parents.